This draw bar for 4G is really in pitiful shape. And it's going to need a lot of work. But I think we have a solution. Stay tuned. We need to get some things painted, so I got this draw bar up here, and I'm going to take it apart up here and get that pin out and clean it real good. I might even take this over in my sandblaster and clean it up good, and I want to see what that pin looks like. From here, pulling back and forth, it's very tight. Glad that came out. Let's see if the other one's to come good deal one thing I've learned once they start moving don't stop I think I got them out those are very unique bolts and this is what holds the pin in here so you can actually change that pin or remove this part of the draw bar without taking anything else out. Got a little liquid wrench on there and this should pop out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is in pretty good shape. I'll get this over in the sandblaster. I'll wash it off first good. Get it cleaned up. Let's look at the wear on the pin. Wow, not bad at all. And you can see right here where those two bolts go through. That's what holds this pin up in there. As you can see, this draw bar is spread open a little bit, so I'm trying to think of a way that we can kind of heat that up maybe and pull it back together. I'm also going to fix up some of these divots and grind them out nice and flat so that this thing looks as close to factory new as I can get it. I'm just cleaning up some of the bigger burrs in this swing plate and I'm going to go ahead and paint it. I think it's in decent enough shape. I don't really need to worry about it. I know that's a rickety bit of rigging right there, but I kind of wanted to try this out on cold press before I put any heat on this hitch. And I've got this blocked up. These are some valves. Uh, this tells you a lot about my granddad and our family. He goes to visit family that we had down in Louisiana and comes back with a bunch of these uh, valves. We're just mechanical people, I guess. What can I say? And so I'm going to give this a little bit of a press and this will keep this end of the draw bar from popping up. This is definitely farmer engineering at its finest, but we'll see. Oh, look at that, it's bending. And I'm nervous. Scoot back. heat on it. Oh look at that, it's bending. That's much better. I need to get a little closer down here in the bottom. Trying to get my leverage out here on the end so it'll push. A lot on it. 
Let me throw a little more heat on it. looks pretty close to what it should be. I'd be happy with that. If that'll stay like that, I'm very comfortable with it. Letting it cool, I'm going to take this over on the welding bench and just build up where these little worn spots are where they had that plate bolted in here to keep it from swinging. And I think I'm going to go ahead and build that up as well. So this is our main pin for the Draw bar the, up here the where belly it, the belly pin where it hitches. It looks like it's about an inch and a quarter. And I'm going to see if I can rebuild this hitch just a little bit. I'm going to fill in these divots here and here on both sides. Kind of grind them off too. That looks quite a bit better. Now I'm going to grind this side off and build it up as needed. Well, yeah. this looks good. I got yeah, that. That's fine. All right. Let me see what I can do with that. I got to finish the other side of this real quick. There's before, and there's an after. And I've kind of carried this repair up around the top a little bit because this was eaten in and dished out on this side from the plate that they had bolted on here. I think once we get a coat of paint on there, I think it'll camouflage quite well. I'm going to see about rebuilding these. While the cleaner's working on that sprocket, I'm kind of rebuilding these and filing them out. Hey, this side's built up. I'm comfortable with that. I'm going to work on this bottom one. It's egged out pretty good over here. And this took a lot of work and a lot of building up and filing and filing and filing. Dad and I switching off. If we ever need to escape from prison, I think we can get out of there with a file. I feel very good about this draw bar. It's in very good shape. There's a little bend in here, but I got everything built back up right where it needs to be. Get a coat of paint on it, you won't even notice it. And I got that built just the way it's supposed to be as well. We're prepping to paint a few more things. Got some of the nuts and bolts, draw bar parts, Belt pulley parts. This is a sprocket off a of 7J that we're going to put on to 4G over there. The swing plate, all ready to go. The draw bar. The draw bar attachment over here where it bolts up underneath of the, the carcass. And that belt pulley. First coat on the draw bar. Got a little on the clean plate too. And the hitch in the middle where it attaches. There it is. Got the draw bar in good shape and ready to go on 4G. Thanks for watching. Well, the sprocket looks good. You did a good job. So, I got a question for you though. Yes. You did this with a needle scaler, most of it. Most of it. And a wire wheel. Yes. And elbow grease. Yes. 
So what do you like better, the torch or the needle scaler? <laughs> well, they both have their purpose, but I'll tell you what, I'm really falling in love with the needle scaler because, for instance, getting in these corners, it's stuff in here where you can't get with the wire brush, the needle, needle scaler works really well on those, especially on this heavy metal. Well, now, it got some of the slag out of there that was still in there from the factory exactly. when this thing was built. So, yes. it is a really good tool. Yeah, works real well.